Hello, welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Glorious Panda switches. These are tactile switches that are still silent. Uh, they are the pre-lubed models. And I'm going to be seeing if I uh, like the way they feel in uh, the number pad of choice that I have chosen. So I'm going to be replacing three of the ones that came with default, which are Gatterons, and uh, throwing in these and uh, probably doing one more row of MX Browns and just doing a general feel and see which one I prefer the best. Let's get into it. Well, before we get into uh, swapping out all the switches individually, I want to pass along some basic information about the switches themselves. So the first one we have here is the Glorious Panda. Its peak force is 65.7 uh, CN centinewtons, uh, which is equivalent or very similar to uh, uh, Graham's force. Uh, I applied the conversion so that they would all be the same and they came out to be effectively the same. The pre-travel distance and the total travel so pre-travel is how much it takes to get to an actuation point, while total travel is where the, the switch bottoms out, and then the lifespan of 15 million clicks. Then we have Cherry MX Browns, sort of the um, go-to brown switch that uh, many people enjoy. Uh, same pre-travel, same total travel, longer lifespan. So do you prefer a heavier push or do you like it really easy? So then we have the Speed Copper, which I actually use on my Drop Shift keyboard for gaming purposes because it's pre-travel is shorter and the total travel distance is less. It's good for 60 million clicks. And then the Adiron Browns, which is what the number pad came with. It has a peak force of 44 uh, centinewtons with the pre-travel of 2 millimeters and total travel uh, 4 with 60 million clicks. I got some pictures of each of the switches. So Panda, Cherry, uh, Kilu, and Gateron. I'm pronouncing that name wrong from, for that one. The Speed Coppers. And then next we have um, Load versus Distance. This first one is the Panda. So you can see that it spikes up early, comes down again, and then comes up. So in here you take a lot of force to get it, and then it becomes you don't need as much force and then you increase force again as you kind of increase the travel until the very end and then this is the return. Next we have the MX Browns. So that's where the force starts at 40 grams GF. So GF similar again similar to centinewtons and then it steps up linearly almost then you have a little step then you reach the tactile point which is at 55 almost 60 uh, grams force drops down again there's the actuation and then increases in force as you move along the back and then there's the reset point coming back the other direction so each switch is going to have a little different feel to it and then uh, I'm sorry my So here we are with the Gateron Browns. You can see that it's a little bit different than the MX Browns, where the peak force is a little bit lower, the actuation point also requires a bit less force, and just the general feel of it will be slightly different. So this is just, you know, what kind of actuation pressure do you prefer in your keyboard? And then last but not least is the Speed Copper. It basically requires a whole lot of force right up front, drops down, and then has a long linear section in the back. So that's where you've actually actuated it, and then the rest is just extra travel. So in theory, you could just have basically press right away and then let go and reset it back to zero, while the other browns require a lot more actuation. I think the actuation is probably over here on the pandas. So I'm going to be plugging in all but the speed coppers. The speed copper I don't really want to use for this purpose uh, into this um, number pad and seeing which one I like the best and I'll basically let you all know. Let's uh, go ahead and swap out some switches.
And now, I'm sure all of you are wondering, I have just finished replacing the keycaps. So the Pandas, the original Gaterons, and my MX, and this is the way they look installed. And for sake of argument, I removed one of the Gaterons. So I know that's quite bright. So obviously I'm going to lose some shine through by going with the Panda. But um, that really wasn't the most important thing to me, especially since the the um, key keycap covers were or keycaps were uh, not shine through. If they were, then I'd care a lot more. But as they're not, well, let's uh, go ahead and put the keycaps back on and give her a feel. Okay, I just finished swapping out the uh, different switches. So I have the pandas up here. I have the original Gaterons, browns there, and I have MX browns on the bottom. And I'm going to just kind of get a general feel and I'll probably place my microphone right next to it just so you can hear it. Well, I can tell you, pushing the different switches, um, the MX are very light feeling. The Gaterons are definitely a little bit more pressure, but kind of mushy. I don't know. They just feel a little bit soft. The Pandas, you, you definitely know you're pushing it and you're getting your key press. So if I had to choose, it would be either MX Browns or the Pandas. And, uh, hmm, I don't know. That's hard to say. I do kind of like the way the Pandas feel. You get that big bump up front where you have to push and then it's nice and easy. While the MX just, they're, they're tactile, but they're kind of linearish tactile. So you definitely get like a, the bump and then it's really easy to press. While the pandas are hard to press down and then you have it easy. So it's do you want a hard hard press up front and then it's soft at the end, or do you want a kind of light, light, light pressure and then light? I'm leaning towards the pandas and I still get some RGB effect behind it, even though they're they're solid in the back. And the fact that this number pad allows for that customization is really sweet. Um, so this is my experiment with switches. Um, I guess I'm going to leave it at this. If you have other switches that you think I should check out, I specific, I do not like clicky, so tactile and not really reds, that you think I should check out, leave it in the comments down below, see if I can get a, my hands on them, or other products you think I should check out other than computer fans. Uh, down below, check out my Patreon page, and I'll see y'all next time here on Computer Tech and More.